What's this like for you guys to be back out here? It's always a pleasure to be out here so that we can portray what would have been here 1800, you know, the year 1800 and 1840. So uh, uh, we're here to help with, uh, promote the farm and, and uh, bring people out to see what we're all about. How many years have you done this? 29 years this year. We started a long time ago in Ottumwa and other people was in charge. They've retired and moved on and we brought it to Oskaloosa to promote. And uh, I've been involved in leader of this group now for 21 years. How have you seen this evolve? It was, uh, five of us, we started Boy Scout leaders. Uh, we went to a rendezvous and seen what it was like. Uh, we decided that it was uh, nice to be bigger boys with bigger toys. So we thought as, as a group, we'd start with only five adults. And uh, at one point in time, we were pretty big when we were at Ottumwa. Um, we're, you know, we've evolved and people have gotten older and retired, but we have young people here now. And, and just like everything else, if, uh, the young people are an interest that keeps things alive. And I know your goal is to really keep history alive for folks. Interest is, is what the, the young people is. I, if you look out and, and you see what's here today, we've got families. It's a family camp. And once the families come out and enjoy life, the kids get to enjoy it. They see what's going on and, and hopefully spur that interest. So uh, uh, we try to make it so it's a family oriented thing so that as we get older and retire, they continue on with the process. So folks that might be interested, I mean, we see a lot of canvas tents. I know you aim to be as realistic as you can for what the 1840s period. Right. How, how do folks become involved? How do they reach you? Uh, we're, I got a Facebook page called the Timberwolf Rendezvous. If you Google Timberwolves, be careful because you might find the Minnesota Timberwolf basketball team, but Timberwolf Rendezvous Facebook page. To get involved, go to one, see what it's about, talk to the people. That's the best way to know what's going on. Well, it's a little late to come out and enjoy this one, but for next year, keep your eye out a little bit. Maybe come out and smell the wood burning, you know, yep. maybe make, see the hawk throwing. Yeah, we do hawk throwing. We do have a, a knife or a bow shoot. Uh, yesterday, Friday, we did something new this year. We're involving trying to help Margaret and the farm out by uh, doing a, a day with children. And we had a uh, Y camp yesterday. It was amazing. Uh, we had 30 kids here. They'd seen things they'd never seen before. And hopefully they'll have us back and, and we're gonna get feedback and hopefully we can do that again so that more kids will go home and say, hey, guess what we found? And they bring them back out on Saturday and enjoy because it is a family outing and we would like to have family come out and enjoy not only the family, but nature and get away from home.